Hey guys, Captain Fructose here, and welcome back to City Skylines. We are back on our lovely island city yet again. And it is still growing like absolutely crazy. What's going on? Wait, what? Why are you having issue? Garbage has piled up. There's garbage things right there. Anyways, we are back here, the city is growing and expanding, and we're still having issues with the whole tourism area over there, but we're not going to build any more tourism until this all catches up, because eventually it should catch up and people should start shopping there once we get enough tourists here, and you know, enough things to draw tourists in so they will want to come here. So, um... I did want to increase our income though, and then we haven't really done much with our whole forestry industry because it's just been kind of sitting over here out of the way and we've just been kind of ignoring it for a little while. So I think we're going to expand this a little bit and see what other wood products we can ship out from here. So let's see what we've got unlocked. I don't know for sure everything we have unlocked yet. Ooh, we do have, oh, that's a small, Never mind. Medium tree plantation, small tree sapling field, large tree sapling field. Okay, so what's the difference between, like, sapling tree field and a medium tree plantation? Uh, can be used to cultivate alder, beech, and conifer. All extractor variations produce raw forest products. Extractor needed to be placed on forest area. Okay, what does this do then? With rows of planted tree saplings, tree saplings in the field produce raw forest products. Extractor needs to be placed. So it's the same thing. Just a slightly different design of the same thing. Apparently. Um, okay. So we'll just put in some more medium tree plantations, maybe. If I can fit any more in here. There we go. Can I do one more? Nope. Nope. Apparently not there. Uh, we can do one there and one there. Okay. So there's even more trees now. So that should be helpful. And then let's actually add in another road. Extend it out here to go around. Whoa. Slope too steep. You're too steep. Uh, we'll bring it down here. And then we'll just connect it up right there. Because that's a convenient intersection to connect it up to. I mean, it looks convenient enough to me. And then, how's our electricity looking? Okay, so it could probably... Let's do this. We'll run the electricity over here so it's out of the way. But we're going to need to do that. Because apparently that angle isn't a good enough angle for it to work. So, there we go. Okay, so that's all connected electrically. Um, as far as the industry stuff, though, we could build another sawmill. What other forestry stuff do we have? Engineered wood plant... Have I built an engineered wood plant? I don't think so. Maybe I have. Maybe not, though. I don't know. But we'll put one in because I don't remember for sure if I have or not. And this is, what is this? What is this one? A biomass pellet plant. That might be another good idea to have. Produce more forestry goods. All right. But none of them have forestry products. They need raw materials. There we go. So those have raw materials. They're delivering some raw materials. This needs more, though. Planed timber. Okay. So is there... Oh, whoa. What's this? Oh, a furniture factory. Wait. Where did I build the... F oh. It's right there. What's this? A printing press. But we need plastic for a printing press. And I don't have any way to produce plastic. Electronics facility... Soft paper factory. But I don't have any of those goods. Like any of that stuff. I'd have to import all of that. And we seem to have issues with that, apparently. I don't know. But I've been told that we're having issues with that. So, we're going to hold off on those for now. Do we have any other types of minerals, though? Like, I mean, we've got ore over here. But do we not have... I don't think we have any oil. Well, that's problematic. So I can't have any oil industry. I can only have ore and forestry. I can't even have, like, farming. Because there's no, like, fertile farmland. So I can't even do that. 
So we'll have to focus on the sawmills and stuff. Where is the stars? There we go. So plain timber produces a lot. We have a lot of output of raw forestry products. Plain timber. How much are we making from that? All I want is to make extra money. Well, we made a little bit from it, I guess. We could store some more in a big facility, like a big warehouse. So there's that. Plain tipper, paper, furniture. Okay, so it's working fairly well. I mean, it has the materials it needs. Biomass pellet plant, that produces paper. Forestry main building. Uh, raw forestry products. Sawdust storage. Can be exported for money. Money, money, money. Wait. Where? How? No, that's not right. This is the button I need. Oh, I don't want to get rid of it. I want to expand it. Here we go. Because we just added this whole new area in here. So I want to kind of expand it. We'll expand it up here too. Because I feel like it. And I think it's a good idea. I don't know. But I'm going for it. Alrighty. Oh, and that's barely in the industry area. Right. Shoe. Sawmill. I mean, we could store more. Small log yard. No, I want a big log yard. Large log yard. Here we go. Put in a couple of big log storage yards. Because why not? That'll be a good thing. Oh, but I forgot water. I forgot the water again. There we go. You know, I'm just going to bring it all the way through. Because I can. And I don't want... I want to avoid any future issues. Look at that. This is filling up already. But these are complaining they don't have enough raw materials. But this is filling up with raw materials. Why are the raw materials not going from here over to here? That is the question, my friends. That is the question. Um, well, okay. So let's go over here. And let's look at the ore industry. But I think our ore industry is doing a lot better than the forestry industry is. Oh, there's the stars. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're making a lot of glass and exporting a lot of metals. But we're also exporting a lot of ores. So we could probably turn some more of those ores into metals before we export them. So where is the, the metal making thingy? Where did that go? Medium or mine? No. Small or mine? No. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, look at that. Seabed mining vessel. Ore grinding mill makes metal. This glass manufacturing plant also... Well, that makes glass. That does not also make metal. It just makes glass. What does this make? This makes a, a lot of metal. But are we going to get enough stuff over here? Because that one over there is complaining about not having enough raw materials. But it's not going to fit over here. So we'll put it over here, I guess. Whatever. We'll put in another one. In hopes that we will produce even more uh, metals to sell. At least that's my plan. Assuming, you know, we ever get freaking stuff delivered here. There we go. Well, that one got some. This one doesn't have much of anything, but at least that one has some, so now we can process that into metals and sell the metals, which will give us a lot more money. Wait, is there ore over here that I'm just taking? I don't know. I don't know, but we're polluting the water, which is probably lowering the land value over there, and there's that weird glitched out building. And we got trams. I don't know if those are even doing any good, but... Well, hopefully that will help with that. Um, I also think we should probably look... Oh, golly. That's a lot of traffic. That's a lot of bad traffic. Average traffic flow, 61%. So basically, what you're telling me is we're pretty much almost at gridlock at this point. Right, so we'll do that and that. I don't know why there's even a thing there. And that. Stop those. And that. And 
that. Make this just basically a through street. And hopefully... See, I haven't done anything with the stop signs. Like, well, I guess we've done a little bit. But not much. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be a whole through street. So people can get back into the city easier. And hopefully that will help ease up traffic a little bit at least. It's all traffic lights through here. Oh, this needs to be a through road. Yep, 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 like that. Oh, and I didn't even bother. Wow. I didn't even bother to put stop signs in over here. Hmm. No wonder we're having traffic issues. That explains so much. There we go. Through street. Oh. Oh, we've unlocked more. A car factory. Guys, we could produce the car. Oh wait, no, I got I don't I can't get distracted. I need to focus here. I need to focus on what I'm doing. We need to put in stop signs and stuff to help ease up traffic. Although there's not much traffic over here in this residential area. It's pretty bad over here though. It looks like. Good night. Okay, you know what? We'll put in a stoplight right there and a stoplight right there. And then maybe one right here because, yeah, it needs it. Apparently. Good freak. It's so backed up. Why is there so much traffic? Especially just right in through there. And look at all that traffic. What in the world is going on? Where are they all trying to get to? Wow, that's a lot of people in that subway station. Oh, golly. All right, let's let's look at our subway. Subway. That is moving a lot of people. Good freak. Metro line 3, 4, 2, airport line. Um, feel like we should probably put some more funding into this because, yeah, all right, we're going to crank up the funding a little bit for this so we can get more train cars or more subway cars. Let's do that. That was Metro Line 2. Airport line stops. Okay, so we're probably going to need to do the same thing with the airport line. So let's increase that to 10. Metro Line 4. We're going to increase that to 11. Oh, wait. That's airport line. All right. Well, we'll leave the airport line there. Uh, Metro line 4. Oh, yeah. That's not enough. Let's turn that up to 10. Metro line 3. So in our, oh, th only 3? This is going to take more money out of the budget, but it'll help move more people because there will be more train cars. So hopefully we'll be able to move more people. At least that's the goal. And then less people have to drive. Hopefully, anyway. Because they can ride the subway, so they don't need to drive. Plus, I mean, there's tons of taxis and other forms of mass transit in the city. So, like, they should be okay. We're moving, like, 2,800 people per week with the buses alone. That's just with the buses. Subway line is moving 2,000 people a week. It's a good thing we put in that subway line. That is moving a ton of people. Wow. Alrighty then. And then, of course, we've got our monorail, which is moving 62 people per week. So not a ton. But then again, there's not a lot of stuff over there yet. So that would make sense why there's not many people riding it to get over there. Five per week. That's it? Seriously? Cable car, yeah. Wow, the ferry's moving a lot. I think that's the ferry. What is that? Is that the ferry? What is this? Monorail line. Oh, that's the monorail line. That's moving 300 people per week. Oh, golly. Uh, the train is not moving a lot of people per week, though. Subway is a lot, though. And it's going up because I increased the number of subway vehicles. Driving around, so that should increase 
the number of people that get transported because there's more cars. So we can fit more people. Uh, what is this one? This is the cable car. Tram line. Ah, gotcha. So this is the tram line. How many people is this moving? 231 people per week. So that's not terrible. And then, of course, we got all of our buses that are moving buttloads of people all over the city. Maybe I should start charging more for the buses or something. I don't know. But that would decrease people's, you know, desire to ride on public transit if they have to pay more for it. So that might be counterproductive for what we actually want to do. What's this? Tourism? What kind of tourism-y stuff do we have? We got a little bit over there. Do I have, like, any tourism-y buildings? Like, whoa, why did my mouse jump clear up there? What's this? Ooh, a winter market. Okay. Can I fit this in anywhere? Can I fit it in over here? How about here? What if I put it in over by this area? But it won't fit because it's too big. <laughs> oh, we haven't built the Chirpex launch site yet. Now, that could be a good thing to do. Do I want to put it right there, though? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe put it not there. Ooh, what about right here? There we go. We have the Chirpex launch site. It's not connected to power, but now it is. Okay. Does it need water? Well, it's connected to the water, but we'll put one in there just in case. Oh, yeah. So now we've got us the Chirpex launch site. Holy moly. It's gorgeous. And humongous. I like it a lot. What other tourism-y stuff do we have that I can build? A panda sanctuary. Sanctuary. Panda sanctuary. Maybe. Where can I put this? Where will it fit? Hmm. It's really hilly over there, so it probably won't fit so well over there. Eh. I don't want to put it over by the industrial area. I mean, we could put it by the airport. Ugh. Um. Or we could put it over here. I don't know where to put it. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to put it right by the airport because I feel like it. What's this? Traffic park. Oh, that'll be fun. Who doesn't like to go to the traffic park and drive cars around? Kids love that. We'll put that right there. So we got more tourism -y type stuff to bring people in. Oh, and there's a bus stop right there. Would you look at that? That just turned out so perfect. Now people can come cut to the traffic park. So they'll bring in more tourism. How are we doing? Oh, that's pollution. I want to look. Healthcare. Um, leisure, parks and plazas, wait, uh, heating, destruction, no destruction, road maintenance, what's our road conditions, oh, what, oh, that's just normal, okay, not boosted, just normal. Right. I thought they were all damaged. And I was like, what in the freak is happening? Disaster detection. Tourism. City attractiveness. This doesn't increase tourism? Really? Attractiveness. Oh, yeah, it does. It's just where the tourists are. So we have... Wow. We've got 617 tourists. Our city attractiveness is fairly high. I mean, this is a really high attractiveness, and so are those. So that's increased our the city's attractiveness, which is definitely a good thing. Oh, now there's tourists there. Sweet. High wealth. Ooh, that means they spend more money. Post offices. We may need some more post offices. It looks like our postal service is kind of falling behind. Where was the postal services, anyways? Those are tow roads. What's that? Road maintenance depot. Did I build one? I don't think so. We need a road maintenance depot. 
like that. Ooh. Well, we'll see what that does. I got sidetracked, though. That's not initially, but there we go. I want the postal stuff. We need a post office over here. That'll take care of this area, hopefully. And then... I mean, the whole city's covered. For the most part, except for over here. But we could throw in a post office right there. There we go. Throw one in right there. That'll help keep things updated. This doesn't even have any postal service. Okay, we'll put a postal service building in right there. So that should help a little bit with that. Get our postal systems back under control. Industry areas. Or oil. I don't have oil. Farming. Forestry. Yay! Alright, well that's not too bad. It's looking pretty good. If I do say so myself. And then, oh yeah, Chirp X launch site preparing for the next launch, rocket construction. Our city won the most attractive city award, yay! And that's having garbage issues again. What the freak is going on there? Um, escape routes, where was the road maintenance? Tourism? Just roads? Junctions. No. No. Road maintenance. Condition. Ooh. A road maintenance department has been uh, hard at work, it looks like. Maintaining the roads and getting them all cleaned up. Which is uber good. We definitely want that. And it looks like they've been very busy actually so far so hopefully they keep upgrading the roads because that should help with the city maybe i need to build another one mm, should i should i build another one it will cost more money per month but it will upgrade the state of our roads which will help with people being able to drive faster on them so i'm gonna go for it I feel like it's probably a good idea. And we'll find out. Coverage condition. Alright, they're they're hard at work. Upgrading the roads of the city. But unfortunately, guys, that is all I have time for in this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.